When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow, so it's hip, 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 and away I go. <laughs> not bird, nor plane, nor even frog, it's just little old me, underdog. For those of you who are younger, you probably don't remember underdog, but I remember it from my youth, and it actually reminds me of my older brother, Jeff, so that's why I like underdog. In keeping with the superhero theme today, I wonder what would happen if Marvel Comics were to be bought out by the Disney Corporation. Disney would have to institute major changes into the Marvel superheroes to bring them into the Disney-esque way of doing things. I believe Disney would enforce a strictly conformist policy and Marvel's spandex-clad hunks and divas would be no exception to this. All superwomen of overly proportionate bosom sizes would need to get breast reduction surgery <laughs> to avoid worrying parents about what their little boys might think. Also, all heroes and heroines would be issued baggier uniforms to prevent viewers from too much of an eyeful of any unique bodily formations. The Hulk would be required to take ang anger management classes and to smile more in order for him to become more people friendly under the Disney regime. That would have the great green ones seething in anger. Can you imagine the Hulk with the glistening smile? That's just bull. He likes to smash people's throats, not smile. The Wolverine would have to give up his Canadian citizenship before he could perform in the evil ranks of Disneyland. In an effort to appease Catholic fans, the Daredevil would have to relinquish his horns and become the Dare Dancer, a member of the New York ballet troupe who beats up the bad guys by pirouetting into them and throwing them in the air like a ballerina. Dr. Doom would be ordered to take off his iron mask when he comes through the gates of the Disney Studios, an act that would sure have the guards at the studio hurling into the trash cans if they actually saw what his real face looked like. <laughs> I'm sure the security guards at Disney Studios would, be sub would subject Sue Richards, the shapely female of the Fantastic Four, to a strip search, which, if we're really being honest, is something that would be motivated by their own interest. So do we really think that a Disney buyout of Marvel Comics would work? Not a chance. The superheroes would never submit to the Disney domination. Adam Postmaster. <laughs>